Here's my second video of the Optima OP5e, which is the world's first uh, Memo-based MID that is not made by by Nokia. So I'm gonna resume, uh, like uh, what's called uh, resume from standby, like just in one click. Then I go uh, over here. I'm gonna go in the file manager, and I'm going to show you that um, you can install some Memo applications on it. So. Uh, right there, I'm gonna go on the on the th the free gig uh, volume. I'm gonna go on my downloaded apps folder right here, and I'm going to try and install some application right here. So, what would you like me to install? There's all these Debian files point deb, and uh, many of these, not all of these, but many of these that were made for the Nokia. Um, N800, N770, N810, uh, even N900, like they, they only need like a little little bit of port porting to, to actually work. So let's install a game like here. This is a little, little Bumber, Bumberman game. So I click and it says, uh, yep, do you want to install? Uh, unable to guarantee that software will not harm your device because it's just like a point DB, so there could be like whatever, but uh, when it's totally launched, this product, there will be like a web catalog of applications where all the applications are totally checked for. So, right here, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say, I'd like to have this inside of entertainment. I wouldn't want that to, to be like in applications folder. So, I say, okay, install it in application, uh, in entertainment, and there it says successfully installed. So, I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm gonna go inside of the entertainment button right here, and there's a Bomberman. Bomberman software is from the internet. Maybe there exists some competitive. Uh, I can just say don't show this next time, like this. And there, I'm going to launch the Bomberman, and you can actually play this over the internet. Some cool guy uh, did this. Uh, Robert Hawk Alf. Uh, but I'm just gonna play uh, offline, I guess. Yep, there you have it. So there, it's the controls, very advanced games. Uh, am I putting the bomb? And like this. And then I can go down here, and I can put another bomb. You see, so this is totally working. And uh, I'm expecting there's a whole bunch of... of uh, of games available and applications and all that and I'm gonna hide here and there you see boom uh, so I'm going to to go out of this it's just to show you that you can install all kinds of stuff uh, let's just close the Bomberman and uh, there's the call, calling application I'm just going to let's let's launch just a web browser for a second just so you can see is uh, Icon, the design of the icon can be changed to a Firefox if it's sold in Europe or in the US where um, now I'm going to uh, just type in a domain I'm going to type in uh, let's go on on the Google on just like some random search here let's just go in here just so you can see I'm over Wi-Fi right now and it's loading the Google, is it? I should be connected right here. Yep. I'm connected. Uh, been connected that long? Okay. Okay, well, there you have it. It's searching on the Google over Wi Fi. And uh, it's a nice 800 times 480 resolution, so it's, it's good quality. It's, it's cool. And there you have it. So this device is also it can all, and it can be sold for only three hundred dollars as well. And you can check my other video where I show more more of it. Uh, the video I did previously, like a few weeks ago. And uh, so I've been testing it out for the last three weeks, and it kind of works. Uh, there's of course a whole bunch of optimizations that they should do, that they could do in the way that uh, uh, what's it called uh, Memo is being used. So they could optimize Memo, make it better and all that, but the hardware is there already, pretty cool. And uh, as I showed you in the other video, 
there is um, uh, there is right there I can resume and if I go like this I show you already but I'm just gonna show you quickly again now it's completely powered off power off and then I can remove the back and there's battery very big battery and here is the sim card slot which is really like this is really special there aren't many like small tablets like this with a sim card slot so you ha can have 3G but this 3G is not compatible with Europe it's the US or Chinese uh, CDMA network so it's only for CDMA for now but very very soon right after New Year they will have uh, in just a few weeks they will have a European compatible version so there you have it uh, the Optima OP5E my second video just showing a little bit more